Welcome to KBT videos. In today's KBT video, we will explore click view videos. Basically, we look into layouts. The topics in layouts like changing the default object layout options, changing the default selection color scheme, modifying the green, white, and gray selection color schemes, using containers as an alternative to multi boxes, use the design menus to custom format a cell. Let's talk about one by one these topics. Changing the default object layout option. Open the click view document, click view report which you created before. Go to the object properties. In layout tab, you see there are two options like shadow intensity border width. If you want to add more options to configure just go to settings document properties and then in general styling mode is simplified you need to modify to advance click ok you can see the border of the object has changed Click on the object properties again and in the layout you can see there other options are added which were not there before. Modify body style solid apply. So play with all the settings and do apply and you can see the object is changing the layout is changing you can modify color also go to base color choose any color then click ok apply it once you apply you will see there is green color is highlighted in the borders of an object so this is how you change the default object layout option. Next, changing the default selection color scheme. Just open the same document. So when you click on something, unrelated things are in gray mode. That means very light gray. Go to document properties and go to general tab color scheme which is like light so change to classic so the gray area will be highlighted more so when this projected in big screens it will look nicer the gray color so this is how you can change the default selection color scheme next modifying the green white and gray selection color scheme so when you select something in the document, it turns into green. When you lock it, it turns into blue. Go to the tools, edit more module. There you can write your custom codes to change the default settings. So there is a code like user pref custom cell basic color primary call dot call where you can specify what RGB color you want to specify. This is the array object. This is system functions which you will override using this function. So let's say you are changing to blue, yellow, the RGB colors for different perspective like selected color, possible color, excluded. Then check it. If it, there is no error, it will show ready. Then test. Then close it. Okay. Now you select. Oh no, before that you must apply it.
go to setting document properties general tab and in color scheme change classic to custom then apply it once you apply soon you will see the changes in your objects like all possible values earlier was white now it become yellow now when you select something earlier it was green now it's blue and the related earlier was like uh, white now becomes yellow the possible values when you lock it it becomes red earlier was blue you can check again what color you given for the locked so this is how you can modify the different colors so how you modifying the green white and gray selection color scheme we learn the next topic is like using containers as an alternative to multi boxes let's create one inline sql query or data sorry data query so that like country product sales person category sales are the columns copy this and open a new click view document edit script paste the copied inline data query and reload it select all the values so there are multiple list boxes comes country product sales person category sales so based on country selection sales person modify uh, selected then block product you can see the differences which are selected are highlighted as gray uh, sorry white now go to new sheet object add container click okay without selecting anything so in this container on empty space just drag the country and drop it so it will showing the available values for country there drop category similarly product and then similarly sales person now go to properties and presentation layer to tabs to the right so that those things will go into right side now in country you select japan category all available so footwear product only available is bulk and clock sales person only available is chain after selecting that previous values so all are dependent now and from selection all these parameter values the sales is reflected so this is how you can use multi value parameters into one single container the next topic is using the design menus to custom format a cell write a one more inline data query simple one country sales and cost copy this and create new click view document edit script paste the copied data query and then reload it take country as a dimension okay select chart straight table next here we will choose country as a dimension next we'll add expressions like sum of sales
will give a label as total sales we will create one more for target sum of cost uh, total cost label it as a total cost create one more which will be like total sales minus total cost you need to give the square brackets because of space click ok label to total margin finish now we have a table straight table with all this now we want to check the custom property there are no custom property go to settings always show design menu items then we can see the custom format cell once we have custom format cell select the value custom format change the background color you can change it select any color then apply it current expression you can see the background color has modified click on the header value 370 custom and give 120 percent and italic so it's modified only that cell value is get modified go to country germany custom for myself click on bold apply so it will apply all the rows in the country so this is how using the design menus to custom format as well so this is how you can change the layout options thank you for watching this video if you like it please like the video or please subscribe the video for more kbt videos thank you